Hello and welcome to another Factorio tutorial. I'm Negative Root, and it's lovely to see you again. In this episode, we're going to cover automated construction and deconstruction using our wonderful friends, the logistical robots and the construction robots. Now, so first things first, if you want to do automated construction and deconstruction, you're going to need a few things. Firstly, RoboPorts, they are what? They're the homes for the little guys. They need homes to recharge, rest, you know, have a little bit of, you know, robot tea or whatever they do. So you need them, okay? You notice that they then put down an orange and a green area. I've covered what that uh, that actually means in another video, so please go feel free to look up, uh, I think it's tutorial 7 on logistical robots. And it works the same thing with construction. Now, the orange one is the logistics network, and the green is actually the automated construction area. So you'll notice that it extends out quite a way. And all of that area that's in green or orange is covered by the construction robots. Now, there's two important technologies that you need. The first is the deconstruction planner. That's the red one. And the deconstruction planner allows you to order your little yellow friends, they're these ones, to deconstruct something. And the blueprint will actually do the opposite. It'll allow you to save a design and then just stamp that down whenever you want it to be built. So first things first, you need a construction robot. And to do that, you need flying robot frames. Now, a construction robot takes two electronic circuits and a flying robot frame. So I've got the robot frames. I've got the electronic circuits. So if I just queue up three of them, like that, they'll build quite quickly. And then you need to put them on the map. They'll fly to a robot port and then be distributed into the system. Now once you've got your construction robots ready to go, all you need to do to deconstruct something is select the deconstruction planner and then highlight whatever you want deconstructed. You'll notice in the top left hand corner it will actually tell you what you have highlighted. So right now it says I have six, seven, uh, a couple of lamps, uh, uh, an accumulator as well, all being deconstructed. Now I have solar panels. So it tells you what you have selected. So if you go, okay, I want to deconstruct all these solar, uh, all these power plant, uh, power poles, but then you see the robo ports and the steam engines, you know that you've gone too far. So you say, no, nope, I just want them. So all you do is highlight them by holding left click and then let it go. That will order our little friends to come and pick them up and put them into our logistic system. Very, very cool. So you can do this on old things, and things that are no longer relevant because you will make parts of your factory obsolete as you go along. They'll just get old, out of date, poor design and you want to redo them. So you can deconstruct large amounts of what you're doing with very very little hassle. Excuse me while I research rocket defense. Now I just want to go up here and I want to show a large scale example because here is an area that has since become superseded with later builds. This wall is currently sitting behind a bit of a defensive network. I've put in a railway station and I've grown beyond the walls of my factory. So this is all defended in here and I don't necessarily need it anymore because I have these outposts protecting my factory. So what I want to do is grab the deconstruction planner and highlight what I want. So I'm going to want the walls, the lasers, and also the power poles. So actually I'll leave the power poles because they're connecting the lights and I just run along and select all of them, make sh keeping an eye on what is being counted and what isn't being counted, just like that. And I'll tell them. Now what will happen is depending on how many you've got, they'll either come out like a big wave if you've got plenty, like this, and then it'll boom, 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 pick them all up, see, just like that. It's fun when you see them just clunk, take the wall down very very quick and easy. You see how fast this is. You can see them coming from everywhere because I've got plenty of them and they'll just boom take everything down for you. It's wonderful. And once you've done that you can see now I've just opened up all this space very very quickly. Minimum mass, very very good tool. Now let's cover blueprints. The first thing you need to know about blueprints is you must have the raw materials or the items that you're going to place in your logistical network. So for example, if we want to place lamps, we must have them somewhere in a passive provider or a storage chest. 
they can't be sitting in a requester chest because if they are they're not technically part of the system and a robot can't can't go get them the other thing it can be sitting in is, is an active provider but I don't think anyone uses that so for example I want to be able to just stamp down and have robots build robo ports anywhere I want so I've got a factory here that's making them for me I want to be able to stamp down lights so I have a factory making them I want to be able to stamp down express sorry fast belts so I've got a factory making them as well now before we get onto the blueprints we'll just do the automated construction so I have transport belts being added to my logistical system uh, down below in the factory check out my let's play if you want to see how I've done that but basically all you do is hold shift left click and that will put down the ghost of an image you see this little purple bar that's the timer so you have five minutes now or rather the robots have five minutes to get the item there and build it once it's there it's a thing it's built and it's just the same if I was to come along and click I can add more I can hold shift and left click and build a big row of them the robots will come along and they'll build them automatically and you see when you're close to your logistical network it'll build them very very fast so all done and I don't have to carry all this crap you know I don't have to carry 300 transport belts to make a big line I can just carry one and just off we go build it for me and it will call in the resources that it needs we'll just deconstruct that because that will put it back into the logistical system now if I was to if I wanted to make a design and reuse it often all you need to do is build it and then make a blueprint of it so what we'll do is we'll make a very simple design that will do something for us now what we'll grab is one of these assemblers we'll put it down and we'll put a power pole next to it so you have a standard design that you like to use a lot of so an in in and out and say this this is what you do all the time all your factory looks like this it's just everywhere so what you need to do is go into your production tab and click blueprint you'll need a advanced circuit in your inventory to do that once you've got the blueprint queued up it'll show up as just a blue square and what you want to do is just similar to the deconstruction planner you just want to highlight everything you want included in the design let go of it and that will make the blueprint for you now you can change what your icon is by selecting things so for example if I want a assembly machine fast inserter an electric medium electric power pole I can have them all on the little icons to give me a hint of what it is exactly and this button will create it now I can go around and stamp this as many times as I want provided I have those items within my logistical network you can see I can get really go nuts with this right now and I've just built six of them in no time at all and in comes all the items that I'm gonna need to build this because I have automated factories building these things for me I don't have to worry about it I don't have to go around and, and craft them all by hand and then wait for them to craft and then put them down and then oh I need fast inserters and this and that and I've built one meanwhile the robots have built six so you can see how powerful this idea is when it comes to building you know large scale items uh, solar farms you know your your late game factories you're going to rely heavily on the blueprint system so use it have things set up and automated and included in your logistical system because it's very very important now I'll give you a few examples of blueprints I have so here is one I made for my power so it's very very straightforward it's just 8 12 16 solar panels uh, accumulators and a substation now I built this by hand once and what I do is when I want to put down some extra power capacity I just come up to where I want it and just stamp it down very very quick and easy and in this way I can build you know vast power stations that create lots and lots of power very very quickly so you can see that here is a, you know a solar farm that I'm in the midst of 
you know, expanding it, and it's going to become bigger as I grow. And we're in the middle of the day, and I'm putting out 27 megawatts. You know, that's a huge amount of power in the early game. Not so much in the late game when you start to get these really massive solar arrays, but if you want to build 864 solar panels by hand, that's going to take you a long time. By the same token, the accumulator capacity is also quite high because I've included them in my blueprint. They've made them at the same time, and the robots just come along and throw them all down. I probably should have been standing next to this design down here to show you them bringing it up and, and plonking them all down. Here they come. So they just throw it all down, get it all sorted for me, get it all hooked up. Very, very straightforward, very easy. And what I'll do is I'll just continue throwing down these blueprints to show you what happens when you run out of something. Hopefully I have enough space. Uh, where is it? Here it is. So that's just going to fit. Now I've up, actually upped the capacity of my of my system, so I might actually struggle to get to the pack capacity. And we'll see how we go. Right there and here and here. Now there is no range on blueprints. I normally wouldn't be able to build at this kind of range, but I can because I'm working in blueprints and the robots know where I want to put it. See that I'm starting to run out of robots now. I still have enough stuff though. Oh my god. Let's keep building them. <laughs> you can never have enough uh, solar panels, according to Josh Little from the forums. We'll just keep going. We'll see how many we can get down. Nope, still not. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Too many solar panels. Nope, still not. Oh, that's not going to fit. Being attacked somewhere. So my system looks a little bit too well designed, to be honest. Because it's not coming up with what I want it to come up with. Damn it. And you see that all of these bad boys now are running around and placing all this down. These will steadily be built. Ah, uh, here we go. So you can see 63, 61 objects are missing the material for construction. Now they're all gone. Now they're all back again. So I'm currently short of accumulators, so it's not going to build everything that I've asked it to build, and it's just saying so. Uh, it's saying that there are 115 objects that don't quite have a robot yet. You know, I've asked it to do too much in between all the other things I'm asking it to do. And it's just going to struggle a bit until we, we get that sorted over 1k now so we can see that we're missing objects and it's steadily going to go down as my factory builds more but you can see what happens when you, you build too many of them but it's not a bad thing because as each one is built the construction robots will go pick it up and add it to what you've asked it to build remember these time out after five minutes so that's quite a while so that's a bit about automated construction. I'll d tell you one last pro tip. To get rid of a blueprint you no, wanna no longer need, right click on it. That'll clear it. And now you have that blueprint to save whatever you want and make a new one. Just like that. And if you don't like that one anymore, you can just right click on it, delete it, and move along. So thank you for joining me. My name's been uh, Negative Root. I look forward to seeing you around.